Good morning and welcome to Rolling Hills. I've never been here before. Fortunately, my caddy has. So allow me to talk you through a round of golf on a course I've never played before. I've been told to go straight at the big tree. And it's nice to have a hole that actually shapes the way that you normally hit the ball. It is very soggy underfoot and it's going to get even soggier at the end of the round. Okay. Sure. I'll walk. Good morning. Welcome to Siam Country Club Rolling Hills. Never been before because back in 2018 they hadn't even pushed the first bulldozer over this land. Walking along, it's very soggy. As is Thailand this time of year when you get the thunderstorms. Hit the first green in two. Can't ask for more than that. Except for I have a rather cute 23 year old caddy. But you can always tell when you've got a good caddy or a bad caddy in the first hole. And they have such a good caddy program at the Siam Country Club courses. I've got a bloody good caddy. Because the first part of any round of golf out here is to start the repartee with the caddy. See how much English she speaks and how much Thai you're going to have to speak. And quite simply, draw them into your game and include them in your game. And that way you get the most out of them. So I've got a downhill left to right two cups. I'm not sure how fast it's going to be. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, good speed. Good speed. Well, during editing I've found that some of these tees are forward and some of them are back. Big bunker left, big bunker right and a steep drop off right. And I'm aiming right. Right. So this one's going to end in tears, isn't it? Bunker? No. No? Okay, that's good. A relatively straightforward chip up. I should have a decent chance at par. Oh. Third is a gentle dog leg all the way round to the left. So I'm going to try the draw. Oh, Simon! The draw not being my long suit, as you can see. But no harm done. 170, 5 iron. And that one. Well, that wasn't fat, that was obese. If you haven't got it, you haven't got it. Not enough. Short. You know, the main reason I work so hard with lessons and practice before I come out here is because you are turfed out in the minibus onto the first team, more or less. Golf Asian are a little better, but we weren't quite in time. There was a problem with our booking. So no driving range. And this heat and your clothes all wet and stuck to you. If you haven't got it, you're not going to find it here. With the best will in the world, 
we're staring at four over after three holes. This is hardly the thing of five or six handicap golf, is it? But it's caused by not getting to the course on time. Yes. The first par five, just got to stay left of those bunkers. That's Mr. Six Handicap. For my second shot, I could take a three wood here and have a bash at the green. But I feel a five wood straight at the greenside bunker that I can't reach is more favourite. Just a bit bottom groove, not swinging very well. This leaves me a kind of English type shot. So I've got to hit it firm enough to get it towards the green. The type of grass will slow it down and then it will trickle onto the green and hopefully give me a birdie putt. <laughs> Lovely. Right, this is a confusing down. hole. I can't see everything that I want to see. But I've been told to aim at that bunker down the left. And I've chosen three wood. Oh, left. Well, as it happened, there was plenty of space for my ball. I've got 108, straightforward pitch and wedge. Now it is a raised green like the second, so I am a fraction worried about this. But if you can concentrate, you can produce the decent shot. And of course I was aiming correctly this time. Not my best. Then I walked up the steps at the back of the green to get onto the green and recorded my feet, rather than me putting. The next par five. Just got to hit it straight. Now we've caught up a two ball who are exceptionally slow. And as the I round progresses, they're going to cause us more and more problems. So we're waiting on every shot now. And it's going to take a long time to get round this course, which in this heat isn't a good thing. Bottom groove, the five wood. I can't see it in this light. Caddy tells me it's gone over. And she was right. This green has a low front, a high middle and a very low back. The flag's at the back. A little bit short. Edge. One of the key things to playing golf out here is being short of flags. One thing I don't do unless the green is fairly flat is take on flags. I'll always play short of them. That way I'm guaranteed an uphill putt. Now this one's a bit more uphill than I wanted because my ball spanned back down the hill. Okay. Caddy gives me a line. Down and, up. and I'm uphill and into the grain. And I don't really have a lot of touch today. Oh, too much. Yeah, not much touch whatsoever. A little bit right. I'm not so fast. Oh, good okay, pattern. we get a par. An interesting hole with one of those long waste bunkers down the left. Yeah. Ah, right. Perhaps that's what caused me to hit it fraction right. Okay. 
we get down there and I have got a shot. This is very simple. This is a 5 iron fade. All left. The ever fade. The ever type of fade. Bunker maybe. Bunker. But by pure luck, yeah, I've missed both bunkers. It's running. And just for a change, I've got the kind of lie that I like. Just a little bit fluffy. Oh, that was delightful. I really wish I had lies it's like that. Good. Just outside. Now, yeah. even though I know this putt, what I like to do is involve my caddy. Get her opinion. Get her involved. Oh, nice putt. Ignoring your caddy and just doing it yourself is basically a huge loss of face. Now we had a long wait here and I took the drive and my caddy gave me. I should have been hitting three wood. There's too much trouble up there. Well I found some. That big crack was me going through this tree and you can see the size of the stakes because they plant fully grown trees out here they have to prop them up with some serious stakes and that saved me going across the path and into the hazard okay. Go cap. Go yeah better say water. thank you to the tree so we close out the front nine and off we go to the drink stop So, my caddy wanted me to hit driver over the tree. Over the tree. And after the previous hole, I thought, I'm just going to hit a three wood. Because you can't see much from the tee box. You can't really see where you're going. Right off the toe. A real low hook, straight into the tree. Hit it right off the toe. And what was even more surprising is it spatted out 40, 45 yards right into the fairway. So I've got a hybrid up here. I need to hit a high fade towards the left edge of the green and avoid all of the sand. Fairly straightforward par 5, you've just got to avoid the waste bunker and the water all the way down the right. So we knocked one left and it surprised me because I hit a little draw. And a gecko had been calling to us on the tee so we went and found it. Yep, they're called geckos because they go gecko. <laughs> anyway, rough, hybrid, it's sat reasonable. I've got a chance for a change. Look how wet it is from where the green keepers have driven through. There's no roll out here today, I can assure you that. This course is playing a long way. I'm not aiming far enough left and I probably haven't got enough club. So you can guess the result. Sometimes the answer to a problem is just to clunk the ball with a lump of iron and that's simply what I'm going to do to get it up this slope.
Get in. Oh, oh. you pig. Bogey. That's a very good roll. Now this two ball is really causing us problems. They are very slow. So we're having to wait for every tee shot uh, banana. and every second shot. Well, as a result, it all gets a little bit sloppy. Okay, let's just get it on. There's my pitch mark. Just to show how much run I'm getting on the ball today. So five wood up towards the left edge of the green and we'll chip and putt from there. Or maybe not. Jeez. That was me looking back at the tee box at the people waiting. Flag is on the back step. I think I've got enough club. But I haven't oh. quite hit it well enough. So it's going to come back okay. to me. Not good enough. Now for those of you who think I'm joking about the slowness of the two ball in front, if you've got a big enough screen, you can count the five golf carts that have peered behind us. That's right, the two ball in front is travelling slower a bit left. Okay. than a five ball behind us. And in Thailand that's dangerous, because some nationalities will just hit the ball at you. If they think oh, yeah. you're being, they're being held up, they will just hit the ball at the green. Get off this green, we're getting caught up. Which is quite dangerous, especially on par threes. But for some nationalities, right. they will not wait. They will not be polite. Okay, cut, cut. 146, eight iron for me. Again, I don't want to go past the flags. So if you ask your caddy about the grain on the green, She'll tell you whether it's up or down, or sometimes up at the front, down at the back. More often than not, being short is a good place to be. Oh, Simon! But today, no power. My putting's a little off. Split fairway, par four, wide on the left, narrow on the right. My caddies told me to go right. So I'm going right. Not fair way though. A decent enough lie for a change, which means I can actually reach this green. I'm expecting a flyer, and that's why I'm going six iron. Didn't quite get the flyer, but we're not far away. Now this is where I talk to my caddy. I wouldn't normally need to. Chipping at home isn't such a big task for me. But as you can see, I've got two different colours of grass. I've got two different grains here. From my side, I'm down the grain and then into the grain. Caddy's given me a line to aim at. So now it's just down to the speed. And what is the purpose of a greenside chip? Well, it's to make par with. Yeah, occasionally they do drop in. But 18 inches up the hill. That's really what you're after, isn't it? Now the signature hole, this very long double dead, <laughs> double dog leg. Par five. First, I've been told to hit it straight at that bunker. My goodness, he even looks like a golfer. Got a three wood. Now we're going left. So I want to be towards that tree that's in the middle of the fairway. Quite likely it's been planted there to give you something to aim at. And this is a thing that we're trying to avoid on the right of the green. Looks horrific. Seven iron, and I'm most definitely aiming left. Safe. Now as you can see the thunderstorm is coming in and I can't remember if it was after this hole or the next hole but we had a lightning strike oh, not very far away and a huge bang of thunder. So part of what's left is just a mad rush to get off the golf course. 
It can get quite dangerous out here at times. And it's getting quite dark. A very simple par three. Again, I think the tee is some considerable way forward. Good. With the flag on the front, that exaggerates it. Done. All I'm wanting to do right now is get off the course and still be alive to tell the tale. Caddy has just told me to go over the second bunker. Well, I'm ignoring her. I'm going over the third. Over the habit of um...